for me, authenticity has to do with our unique selves. You know? And everybody, I think, is born with their own individual gifts and purpose. But authenticity is that link that helps us create a vision for those gifts and that purpose. And without authenticity, it's hard to, to achieve your purpose. Without authenticity, what, what, what one tends to do is to conform. And I know in these days and times it's easier to conform than to be authentic. But authenticity is, is uh, it's, it's anything about conformity. And for me, what it means is that once one is more authentic, one can actually contribute uh, to humanity. And being an artist and a creative and walking through life with lots of people looking at me. My being authentic means I am not concerned about the other eyes of me. That's because uh, I don't appreciate them other because I don't have to worry about performing who I am because being authentic means you can be who you are and you get a greater sense of fulfillment from that. Human beings are all born creative and then as we grow older, this sense of structure and discipline robs us of, of that thing. And so then when we grow older, we try to recapture it. And I think for me, being an artist, in my adult life, my late teenage life or my adult life was recapturing that, that freedom or that sense of creativity. And what, it took a while, it took a while. So I was, I'm always, I always tell people I was a late bloomer. I knew when they asked me the question, what do you want to be in the future? There was an expectation I see something lofty. Not necessarily that I found what I wanted to do. So saying engineer one day and saying pilot after I'd gone for maybe vacation and flown in a plane, or saying doctor knowing very well that biology and blood was not my thing, or, you know, so um, it was a process for me, a long process. Uh, and I think it took leaving home and going outside of home and being on my own uh, and having the difficulties of navigating a life by myself in which I got closer to my authentic self. But even that, there was this bit of conformity that I was still battling with going to be in America because you know, in how you speak and, um, and how you think, you know. Uh, for instance, my understanding of myself as a Ghanaian changes when you get to America where you're African and you have all these different things. So it was a process and it was an evolutionary process and it's still an ongoing process. Well, in this journey, for me, it's not been a, it's not that neat idea of a mentor for me. I think I've had different guides at, at different points in my uh, life. At least from the last couple of years, I think it's easiest for me to say my grandfather. You know, partly because the path I've chosen uh, in terms of my family, he is the one that has is the closest to it. You know, he's a He's a composer, even though he was also an academic. But I discovered many more things about him, which was the fact that he was writing poetry when he was in his twenties, <laughs> just like I guess I was, and all these things. And and his keen interest in what I do also means we have so many different conversations and we have such perspective on on the, the power of. of of, the, of what I'm doing and the potential of it being bigger than what you know I understand it to be. When he gives me anecdotes about how Nkuma was asking him to do this, etc. Now Nkuma valued that as a political priority and all these things. I'm like, okay, well, you know, this thing is not just about Shaq and Jai. There's more to it. I'm having a few days, no nights, and this fly too close to the sun and get Icarus. I think authenticity is very important. But I do also think that in this current day and age is very difficult. So, but it's worth it. It's worth finding authentic self and it's worth taking an authentic journey because it's tied into your personal and professional success.